Okay, so now that we've got the users set up here and pages going good, uh, what we have left uh, as far as forms go is the settings. So we've kind of got a nice little template that we're using here. So making the settings shouldn't be too hard. However, we're going to do them a little different. But uh, let's go ahead and set that up. So let's go over to Aptana. Go ahead and let's close some of this stuff. Go ahead and keep users open because we're going to copy that. Let's open up settings.php in the views folder. Because since the settings are really just single value, we take a look at uh, PHP my admin if you don't remember. We don't really need to generate a big list of all the settings. One, because we're probably going to have a lot of them at the end of the day. Uh, and you know, why have this giant list to scroll through just to change a quick value? So rather than that, let's go ahead and actually let's spit out a bunch of forms with like a save button next to each one of them so that we can actually update um, kind of on the fly. So we'll go back to Aptana and let's go to users.php and uh, really all I want at this point is this first query here. So I'm going to go ahead and select um, actually let's go ahead and copy all of it from row down then I'm going to remove some stuff. So copy, go to settings.php and paste. And we're going to do, first we're going to do select all from settings. And uh, let's see. For right now, we'll order by ID, which is really the default way to do it, but we'll just go ahead and put that in there anyways. And uh, go ahead and get this list equals out of here. So we don't need that. And we're definitely not going to need the blurb. And uh, we're not going to need any of this either. And we're actually not creating a list as much as we're actually creating... And so we'll keep that as is. But what we're going to do different in here is we're actually going to create a form each time this goes. So I'm going to go ahead and move this closing PHP up here. And let's see. We're going to do an inline form this time. So let's take a look at the uh, difference here. Let's go over to Bootstrap. Go scroll up here, click on CSS, click on the forms, and underneath basic example is inline form. What's nice is it looks like all we really need to do is make sure that the form has a class of form-inline. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and go back to Aptana and in our settings page. Let's go ahead and cut this whole form out, and we'll paste it in the while loop. Now we definitely don't need all these options. I'm going to go ahead and tap this out. Let's take a look at PHP my admin again. We need the ID, label, and value. So. So let's come in here, and the first one is going to be ID. So we'll change all these. Should be getting pretty used to this by now. And uh, placeholder. Let's put in the word ID. And uh, let's just do a dash name, just to verify that we're not using numeric values here. Let's change open to ID. Now we need our label. So we'll just go ahead and use this last name here. And we'll do label. Label. 
Label. Label. Label. And label. And the last one we need is value. So let's go ahead and do the same down here for value. of these. So we'll get rid of status, password, and verify password. And uh, let's see if open ID. Well, that's fine. Actually, no, that's not fine. We want to actually get rid of that. And if you didn't notice already, we need to change opened. Um, let's actually to keep consistent since this isn't a uh, sidebar list anymore. One, let's go ahead and actually delete this. The div for list group, which also ends down here. And let's see. Let's go ahead and change list to opened. Go ahead and save that and let's see what we've got. Oh, nope, before that. Let's go ahead and take our message and cut that and we'll put that up here at the top of this column which we actually only need one column now so let's change this to column medium 12 and get rid of this column and we forgot the most important part which is this form the class of form dash inline. Save that. Now let's take a look. Click on settings. And there's our setting.